Your Majesties, Your Royal Highnesses, Excellencies, Honored Members of the Polar Music Prize Organization, Beloved Members of the Stieg, Stick and Anderson family, Ladies and Gentlemen, Welcome to Grand Hotel and the Polar Music Prize Award Ceremony. Since 1992, the Polar Music Prize has celebrated an amazing list of accomplished laureates who have all made exceptional achievements in the field of music. Tonight, I am proud to introduce the three outstanding Polar Music Prize laureates 2023. Please welcome the legendary barrier breaking and highly influential artist and songwriter Andele Kidjo. The record producer, the record producer who changed music history with his genre crossing label Island Record, Chris Blackwell. And representing his father, the composer Arvo Per, whose music moves listeners on the deepest level. Welcome, Mikael Pert. Polar Music Prize was founded by the late Stig Stickan Andersson, one of the Swedish music industry's biggest personalities of all times. Composer, lyricist, record company director, manager, and a visionary. After all his accomplishments with Polar Music, he wanted to create the world's biggest music prize. Biggest in the sense that it should include all genres and cross over musical boundaries. When looking at the list of laureates through the years, you must agree he succeeded. Here are some of many unforgettable Polar Music Prize moments. The Polar Music Prize recognizes exceptional and significant achievements in music. Legendary Swedish music mogul Stig Stikan Andersson founded the prize to set the standard as the world's most prestigious accolade in music. Har du sovit gott i natt Stikan Andersson? Ja, faktiskt. Men eh, nervös är det. Det är klart. In 1992, its first historic steps were taken with the Baltic states and Paul McCartney becoming the first laureates. When you're chosen from everyone in the world, not just so the people in Britain, people in America, people in Sweden, um, it's such a high honor that, that, that even big heads like me get impressed. Well, I got this guitar and I learned how to make it. Talk. In 1997, Bruce Springsteen joined Paul on the Roll of Honor. Since then, The Beatle and The Boss have been followed by a who's who of rock legends. We don't 
don't need no education. Chuck, congratulations, Chuck. The Polar Music Prize celebrates all genres of music and is awarded annually to two recipients, one representing popular music and one from the classical field, the latter having seen a host of opera stars and outright geniuses. Hello. <laughs> what an overwhelming and completely shocking experience. Many great and pioneering jazz and blues artists have been honored over the years, as well as those influenced by them. The feeling of receiving that Polar Prize was, was like one of the highlights of my life. I spent my life on stages With 10,000 people watching me yeah. But we're alone now I'm singing my song for you You might notice I'm a bit nervous. I've never met a king before. <laughs> Please welcome the one and only Annie Lennox. I love you very, very much, and I love your music even more. I'm still kind of shaky, <laughs> so if, if I can't speak properly, forgive me, but I'm, I'm really moved by this. When the hugely influential Canadian poet-songwriter Joni Mitchell received her prize in 1996, she became the first folk and world musician to do so. Today, she's joined by dozens of extraordinary artists representing a variety of genres. Uh, we never ever thought that we'd play this uh, in front of you, Emily. <laughs> I don't see that we could live without music. We are musical animals. The list of classical laureates ranges from dedicated guardians of our classical music treasures to pioneers who have paved the way for future cultural highs. In short, a bright, shining galaxy of stars. Your Majesty and ladies and gentlemen, I wish you a most enjoyable evening.
The composer Arvo Pert creates great complexity with the smallest means. Even the most basic elements of music, the three notes of a triad, can be transformed into a spiritual universe and a state of timelessness. Tonight, we'll hear Arvo Pert's entrancing Spiegel im Spiegel, Mirror in a Mirror, played by two exquisite Swedish musicians, Claudia Bonfiglioli, violin, and Karin Haglund, piano. Thank you. 
Thank you, Claudia and Karin, for Spiegel im Spiegel by Arvo Pärt, a composer who chooses every note with the greatest care, as well as the silence surrounding them. The work of Arvo Pärt has played a significant role in the soundscapes of contemporary music since the 1960s, especially with his unique compositional technique, Tintinabili, which Pärt invented in 1976, he has deeply affected the course of music over several decades. His works have reached a vast number of listeners, not only via concerts and recordings, but also through films and theatrical productions. Arvo Pärt was born on September the 11th, 1935, in Paida, Estonia. After studies in Heino Eller's composition class at the Tallinn State Conservatory, he worked as a sound engineer for Estonian radio. Since the late 1960s, Pärt has been a freelance composer. As one of the most radical representatives of the Soviet avant-garde in the 1960s, Pat's work passed through a profound evolutionary process, from neoclassical piano music to his unique use of dodecophony, sonorism, chance music, and the collage technique. After his last and most dramatic collage piece, Credo, 1968, Pat withdrew for almost eight years. Both the avant-garde spirit of Pärt's early works and the religious nature of the music he composed in the 1970s led to controversial reviews and confrontations with Soviet officials. In 1980, Arvo Pärt and his family were forced to immigrate, first to Vienna and then to Berlin, where they stayed for almost 30 years. The early 1980s marked the beginning of his creative collaboration with the publisher Universal Edition, as well as the distinguished CD label ECM Records. Since then, his music has been performed and recorded by the best orchestras and interpreters of our time. Around the time of Estonia's restoration of independence in 1991, Pärt reconnected with his homeland and its musical life. He's lived permanently in Estonia since 2010. That same year, the Arvo Pärt Center, which holds Pärt's personal archive, was established in Laulusma, near Tallinn, by the composer's family. Armastus on kõikide kunstide allikas. Kunst eksisteerib nii kaua maailmas, kui eksisteerib võime armastada. Here is the award citation from the Polar Music Prize Committee. The Polar Music Prize 2023 is awarded to Arvo Pärt from Estonia. Composer Arvo Pärt has likened his music to white light. It is in the encounter with the prism of the listener's soul that all colors become visible. Anyone who has heard his laconic, reduced compositions will understand this perfectly. Influenced by sacred music, especially Gregorian chant, Arvo Pärt has created the compositional style Tintinnabuli, from the Latin word for bell, in which the music moves according to a given structure. In 2006 and 2007, Arvo Pärt dedicated the performances of his works 
to the murdered Russian journalist Anna Politkovskaya and other dissidents in Russia. Arvo Pert's courageously beautiful music creates depth in every sense. Mikael Pert, please come up on stage to, on your father's behalf, receive the prize from the hand of His Majesty the King. Olen väga liigutatud ja tahan teid südamest sellest tänada. Your Majesties, Your Royal Highnesses, Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen. I'm deeply honored to accept the Polar Music Prize on behalf of my father, Arvo Bart. In accepting this award, my father would like to express his heartfelt gratitude to the Mo Polar Music Prize Committee, as well as to all the musicians and listeners who have supported his music throughout the years. Arvo sends his love to all of you here tonight. At the, say, at the time when so many are feeling lost and alone, and when the world is tearing itself apart, my father's music is a reminder of our common humanity, of the things that unite us rather than divide us. It is a call to love, to empathy, to understanding. Aropart has said that bettering the world does not begin from the opposite end of the world, but from within yourself, millimeter by millimeter. What does a millimeter mean on music paper? What kind of weapon is it when measured out correctly? This needs to be a, uh, this needs to be a school of shaping the soul, not merely a school of composition. At a micro level, Pert's music speaks to the individual. It invites the listener inwards to experience the reflection uh, of the person in a deeply personal way. At a macro level, Pert's music speaks to the larger question of faith and existence as a whole. It, it invites us to view the nature of the universe and our place within it. But how do we attune ourselves to this way of thought, to this search? Arvot said that it is always a beautiful time when you are at an utter loss, when you seek from almost nothing 
First of all, you must make yourself nothing. There must be silence. You must make peace with your powerlessness and that which is then given is like a gift. Thank you very much. This is truly an evening to celebrate the power of music. And to manifest this power, we have our next laureate, the multifaceted artist Angelique Kidjo. She has become a role model for generations to come in many ways, way beyond music. After almost half a century being one of the greatest influencers on the international world music scene, Angelique Kidjo has become a role model for generations to follow. I grew up in Benin, in the city of Cotonou, in a family of 10 kids. The first music I heard was traditional music because my father said I start singing before talking. And that traditional music has always been my compass. Kidio's career started out as lead singer in her high school band. In 1981, Kidio recorded the album Pretty. The success of the album allowed her to tour all over West Africa. In 1983, Angelique relocated to Paris. She initially planned to become a human rights lawyer, but ended up studying music instead. In the 1980s, when I arrived in France, it was bubbly. It was so much music at the same time, and all of it good music. Angelique became the front singer of Jasper van der Hoff's Euro-African jazz rock band, Pili Pili. And I was one of those rare women artists of that era that is still here, because let's face it, music is the main dominated form of arts too. By the end of the 80s, Kidio had become one of the most popular live performers in Paris and recorded a solo album called Paracool. She was then discovered by Island Records founder Chris Blackwell, who signed her in 1991, and the album Logoso was released that very same year. And in 1994, the album I was released, including the hit song Agolo. The following years, Angelique collaborated in numerous projects with international musicians and composers. Always innovative, blending diverse musical styles in her own genre-crossing way. You have to be inspired. Even when you say that, you know you have the idea already. It's already in you. And when you start working, it doesn't come from nowhere. It comes from that thing that Philip Glass calls, from the domain of the unknown, is, is what inspiration is. We can't sell it. We can't buy, it's just there. Alongside her successful musical career, Angelique also travels the world, advocating on behalf of children in her capacity as a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador. And in 2006, Angelique started her own charitable foundation, Batonga, dedicated to supporting the education of young girls in Africa. Young women are doing music today without being apologetic. That's what I wanted. That's what I was hoping for. I mean, it's crazy to see this new generation that is bold, talented, and just go for it. Besides being a role model for a younger generation of women, Angelique Kidjo has been a creative force with 16 albums to her name. She's won respect from her peers and expanded her following across national borders. Thank you. 
so much blood on the floor Now we can't have the same love I won't fix anything Must be some other way Brothers, why are we fighting each other? My sister, why do we let the men take our power? That's what they want That's what they want What they want Our leaders Conquer and they divide us Our preachers Teach the word of our colonizers That's what they want That's what they want That's what they want That's what they want, what they want. Let's be strong And powerful Lisa Ekdal, guitarist Matthias Blomdahl, and playing the trumpet, the Lebanese multi-stylistic artist Ibrahim Malouf, here in Stockholm on a flying visit to pay honor to our laureates. Together, they gave us a message from Angelique Kidjo, choose love. And here is the award citation from the committee. The Polar Music Prize 2023 is awarded to Angelik Kijo from Benin, a unique and unstoppable artist and songwriter. Angelik Kijo speaks and sings in five languages, at least. Fon, French, Yoruba, Gon, and English. Angelique grew up in Cotonou, surrounded by the dynamic Beninese culture and listening to music from all over the world. Soul, jazz, reggae, Afrobeat, pop, classical. When a communist dictatorship tried to silence her, she moved to Paris and became even more active. 
Angelique Kidjo invented the word batonga, a response to those who think girls don't belong in schools. And she runs the Batonga Foundation, which seeks out girls and provides them with education. Bono has said of her, in Africa's new morning, Angelique Kidjo is the warmth of the rising sun. Angelique Kidjo, please come up on stage to receive the prize from the hand of His Majesty the King. Thank you, everyone. Your Majesties, Your Royal Highnesses, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. I started my career at the age of six in Benin, West Africa, when my dear mother shoved me on stage in front of a live audience. I was so scared that I could feel my whole skeleton shaking. But the audience started to laugh and clap. It made me feel good. It made me feel at home. Since that day, I haven't left the stage. I was born in one of the poorest countries in the world, and I don't sing in English. Because of that, it took a village, a whole global village, to bring me where I am today in front of you. First of all, my family was there for me. My dad, who refused to marry his daughter early and instead send them to school, my mom, who told me the secret of a true artist, bearing yourself spiritually when you are on stage. My brothers and sisters who played music with me, four of my brothers are here today, and I'm so sorry my two sisters couldn't make it to be with me here today. My French husband, Jean, who, who fought with me to share the unsung beauty of African music. My daughter, Naima, who inspires me every day. My entire family supported me when I had to escape the dictatorship in Benin and settle in France. So many friends and fans, so many artists, Agent Olivier, Manager Kevin, and musicians that believed in me and collaborated with me. My vocal coach, Bill Riley, and my vocal doctor, Jean Abitbol, who is here tonight with us. And he has always been there with me. But another person here today changed my life overnight. I had sent my music to every record company in Paris. No one was interested, no one cared. Then the African activist, Mamadou Conte, sent it to someone in Jamaica who showed true passion for my work, signed me right away, and started me down to the path of success. This person was Chris Blackwell. And you give me today the opportunity to thank him in front of the world. He allowed me to build bridges between all those beautiful music and peoples of the world so that we can celebrate our shared humanity with the incredible music of my continent, Africa. Thank to you, Your Majesty, to the Polar Prize Committee, to Chris Avo, to Chris and Avo, to all my family, my friend and supporter. Thanks, Mary Ledin for being a, a trailblazer. She is amazing. You know you have a wonderful woman in this country that's called Marie Ledin, right? <laughs> we are all African. So let me celebrate in my way. Blay 
Bleoué, bleoué, mi anda pelo, bleoué, mi anda pelo, bleou. Gagaga, comme un yon en bleou, bleou, comme un yon en la doa si pebe da ta ta, bleou. Ma ou se gomye de ya kwen ami a gomye a o o o Tik pe si ne mye de ya kwen ami a gomye a o o o Mi na un jo, mi do kwe da Mi na un jo, mi do kwe da Kwe no kaka mi a pwa se kwe binyo Kwe no kaka mi a pwa se kwe binyo Mble ou ye mi a da kwe lo It's hard to imagine a musical world without Chris Blackwell and Island Records. What would the soundtrack of my life sound like without Angelique Kidjo, Roxy Music, Grace Jones, U2, Spencer Davis Group, Marianne Faithful, King Crimson, or Bob Marley? Chris Blackwell is the founder of Island Records, the wildly innovative, legendary music label now regarded among the most admired of all time. Chris was born in London in 1937. His parents brought him home to Jamaica when he was six months old. Chris embraced the Jamaica culture at an early age. What started to happen is I started to spend more time with people playing music. So I'd go to where there were clubs and when there were sort of big sound system sort of events, and I loved that. While working as a water ski instructor at the Half Moon Hotel, Chris heard a pianist playing. His name was Lance Hayward. Chris signed Lance, and Island Records was born. Still without a studio or even an office, Chris signed three new acts. The three records. Each of them went to one number one in Jamaica. It was really from then on that pretty much most of my time was looking for, listening to, spending time with Jamaicans and their music. In 1962, Chris heard a 15-year-old girl with a unique voice. It was Millie Small, and Chris had his first major hit. And the record actually was only one minute and 58 seconds. And um, I knew it was going to be a huge hit. Chris's instincts were right. The record sold 7 million copies worldwide. With the success of Millie, doors opened up in England for Chris. At a TV performance with Millie in Birmingham, he met the Spencer Davis Group. They became Island Records' first English band. There it was Steve Winwood playing the keyboards and playing guitar. It was everything. So then immediately I said to them, I'd love to record you guys. His musicianship was incredible. Open Doors meant a broader music arena, and Chris was now searching for new hits. In 1970, he met Cat Stevens. That really touched me. How can I try to explain when I do, he turns... In 1973, Chris signed an artist with a world-changing potential. The lyrics, which were coming out of not just Bob, but Peter and Bunny, that, that that is something that if they had a 
instead of a Jamaican sound, they had a bit more of a, like a rock music sound, they would be able to reach a wider audience. In 1979, a very special band performed for the first time in London. At that time, they had not attracted much attention. Island Records would change that. I came for a concert that Bob Marley was doing in South London. Close to there, there was a little club. There was about 15 people in the club. The passion they had, you could see that they were determined. So that's why I signed them. It was always my thing. I was never really telling everybody, this is how you've got to do it. I didn't really operate in that manner. If they're doing something and they're feeling good about it, then it's my role to listen to it, to see if it's something which can re reach a wider audience. Here is the award citation from the Polar Music Prize Committee. The Polar Music Prize 2023 is awarded to Chris Blackwell, founder of Island Records. As a record producer and genuine music lover, Chris Blackwell has been one of the key figures in the development of popular music for half a century. When Island Records was founded in Jamaica in 1959, he began his mission to introduce the world to ska and reggae. In folk, rock and disco, he has invested in uncompromising artists and helped them become the best versions of themselves. Never focusing on sales figures, but on the songs and albums as works of art. Chris Blackwell has expanded the world and abolished border controls between genres. Chris Blackwell, please come up on stage to receive the prize from the hand of His Majesty the King. Majesties, Your Royal Highnesses, Excellencies, Marie Ledin, the Polar Service Prize Committee, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. There are so many to, there are so many ways to say thank you for this great honor that I share tonight, along with the amazing Angelique and the ever-searching Arvo Sart. Perhaps the best way to say thank you <clears throat> is to tell you that my honor of this evening really belongs to those who put their hope and place their trust in my instincts. I founded Ireland in 1959, and when I, when I was 22. I didn't know then, but I learned quite quickly that there is only one question for a producer in music. What is more important, to be heard or to hear? When you listen to others, you find the space to understand their many possibilities. It allows you to bring forth what is already there, to help them 
find their way and to hear, if you will, the future. I'm not a good reader. The people who made the music, <clears throat> there are so many, to name a few. I want to start with Ernest Wranglin, Jimmy Cliff, Millie Small, Steve Winwood, Robert Palmer, Bob Marley, Nick Drake, John Martin, Cat Stevens, Grace Jones, U2, Tom Waits, Melissa Etheridge, and Angelique Kija, and so many more. Many people supported the journey, each one of these unique talents, who I also thank here very much. There is nothing easy about the act of creating music, whether it is composing, singing, or arranging. And then, when you least expense it, expect it, it comes. Those tender moments of intense musical kinship and quiet clarity is when you find the way you find the way through and the group starts to hear itself. It's part craft, part alchemy. Then your heart slows and your breath holds its beat. You know they have achieved complete harmony with each other and that moment is met with silence, a nod and then a smile. And you pray that you recorded it. <laughs> At this moment in our history, my hope is that we all continue to make music, to use music as a shared human endeavor that evokes joy and delight and connects communities and generations together in a language of harmony. That, I hope, is my legacy. With all those I have worked with over the last 50 years, thank you. One love. Good night. Tonight, tonight to perform Bob Marley's reggae hit, Stare It Up, a multi-talented artist who was born in Jamaica, lives here in Stockholm, and performs all over the globe. Please welcome the fabulous Desmond Foster.
Mary Njai and Prince Prime. Thank you. Dear laureates, thank you for enriching all of our lives with your musical achievements. The Polar Music Prize is a warm and heartfelt way of thanking you. It's been an honor for me to be your host for the award ceremony. Great thanks to the artists for your splendid performances here on stage, together with the Polar Prize Band. Rasmus Lindelöf, keyboards. Andreas Unge, bass. Thomas de Paula Eby, percussion. Anders Hedlund, drums. And Stefan Olsson, guitar and musical director. The awards ceremony has now come to an end, but the celebrations will continue from this stage in just a short while. I would like to thank Your Majesty for honoring us with your presence here tonight. We will now take a short break, so if I may ask Your Majesty to take the lead to the royal entry, followed by our laureates. Of course, you will be accompanied by music. Students from the Royal College of Music in Stockholm will perform Afirika by Angelique Kidjo. During this short break, please mingle here in Winterträgården and see you in a short while. Thank you. 
fun hiding in the corridors. This was supposed to be a special, uh, a secret squirrel event for you today. And it's such a pleasure to be here tonight. I could not be, I could not feel more privileged and honored than to perform for you. You know, I've been a really sincere fan of your music for decades. You've inspired me among with millions of people around the world. And this is such a, a privilege. I love you very, very much and I love your music even more. There was only one song out of your amazing catalog. I think you know what it's gonna be. It jumped out at me. I have to play this song of yours. If blood will flow when flesh and steel Meant to clinch your lifetime's argument. 
Michigan seems like a dream to me now. It took me four days to hitchhike from Saginaw, and I've come to look for America. Laughing on the bus, playing games with the faces. Doesn't ring 
and I'm lost in imagining everything that kind of love is worth as I tumble back down to the earth that song is sung this bell is rung out she was the light that I Took my last chance of happiness So dark and strange God she grant me her indulgence And if I, I might as well Wipe her from my memory And maybe I was washed out like a lip print on a shirt. See, I'm only human. I wanted to hurt her. I want him. I want him to I lost the power to pretend that there could ever be a happy ending. That song is sung out. This bell is rung out. She was the light that I. My last chance of happiness So God give me strength God give me strength For my memory
night turned cold and the stars looked down and you hug yourself on the cold, cold ground. You wake the morning in a strangest cold. No one would just see. You ask yourself, who'd watch for me? My only friend, who could it be? It's hard to say it, I hate to say it, but it's probably me. When your belly is empty, the hunger's so real. You're too proud to beg, you're too dumb to steal. You search the city for your only friend. No one would you see. You ask yourself, who could it be? A solitary voice speaking out set me free. I hate to say it, I hate to say it, but it's probably me. You're not the easiest person I ever got to know, but it's hard for us both to let our feelings show. Some would say I should let you go your way, you only make me cry. But if there's one guy, just one guy, who would lay down his life for you and I, I had to say it, it's hard to say it, but it's probably me.
Live from the City of Islands in the heart of Stockholm at the Grand Hotel. Here to receive the Polar Music Prize, the Queen of International World Music, Angelique Kidjo. The magnificent classical composer, Arvo Pärt. And the legendary founder of Island Records, Chris Blackwell.
publiken står redan upp. Människor har samlats för att hylla musiken och alla människor som skapar den. Det här blir en magisk kväll. Välkomna! Vintertrigården på Grand Hotel i Stockholm. Och nu har ju festen i och för sig varit igång i några timmar. Men stämningen här kunde inte vara bättre. Och traditionsenligt så gästas alltid polarpriset av kungafamiljen. Till exempel i år av självaste kungen Karl den 16 Gustav som är här. Vi har också drottning Silvia på plats. Och kronprinsessan Victoria som vanligt helt enastående när hon gästar Polarpriset. Ni såg hon satte sig precis ner efter att ha eh, dansat till Angelique Kidjo, hon sitter bredvid Max Martin och Thomas Ledin. Vi har också prins Carl Philip på plats. Eh, han sitter i djupa samtal med någon som jag inte riktigt kunde se, men jag ser att eh, prinsessan Sofia också sitter i samtal efter att de alla faktiskt har stått upp och dansat redan på första numret på denna bankett. Emilia de Porrett är också på plats såklart. Som jag sa, festen har pågått en liten stund och du var ju allra först ut och mötte dem på röda mattan tidigare idag. Alltså det var en stämning redan på röda mattan. Ja, det, det här är ju en sån festfält, festernas fest. Och du nämnde kronprinsa Victoria förut. Hon är ju absolut strålande i sin neongula klänning. Ja, och hon kan bära upp den om någon. Men det är fler som är här. Vi har till exempel idel svensk musikadel. För en liten stund sedan så trippade jag förbi Veronica Maggio som jag såg satt på plats. Vi har också... Ja, nu sitter där och pratar tillsammans med Jocke Berg som ni ser från Kent. Dessutom så har vi också ja, världsmästaren i pop, Max Martin, som jag nämnde tidigare, som sitter vid honörsbordet. Han fick ju ta emot Polarpriset 2016. Vi har också en massa skådespelare på plats. Jag har varit runt och kikat lite grann. Jag såg bland annat att Jonas Karlsson sitter vid ett av borden. Och det är lite roligt för att han har ju faktiskt spelat Stickan Andersson, som ju är Polarprisets grundare i filmen om Ted Gärdestad. Sen såg jag Fares Fares och när man ser honom Emilia ja. då tänker man den där killen han vet hur man klär sig Nej, när det är fest. Har man vunnit årets bästa man då har man koll på hur man klär sig framförallt på ett polarpris tycker jag. Ja och ja. det har han sannerligen. Väldigt stilig. Vi har ju också Dramatens Lena Endre här vid något av borden såg jag tidigare det. Där ser vi henne i bild Det är en otrolig också. kreation måste jag säga. Men hon är väl ändå vacker i vad som helst, Emilia. Ja, jag vet. Jag ja. vet att hon är det. Ja. Vi ska prata mycket, mycket mer om de fantastiska kreationerna senare. Men redan nu ska vi faktiskt bege oss till Röda mattan för några timmar sedan. Där du tog emot kvällens gäster. Ja, men jag, har, alltså, den jag sjunger är ju min favoritlåt, för det var därför jag kände den mig får så glad. Avslöja. Den får vi inte avslöja än. Men annars skulle jag nog säga att det måste väl vara kanske Three Little Birds, en klassiker med Bob Marley. Då väljer jag en Chris Blackwell, hans mor Island Records, och gav ut Bob Marley bland annat. En låt som du kommer dansa till på dansgolvet ikväll. Jag skulle vilja dansa till Pull Up to the Bumper, tror jag. Och det är en låt som heter Waiting in Vain med Bob Marley, som är en av mina absoluta favoritlåtar. Baby, don't worry about a thing. Cause every little thing is gonna be alright Du kan ju sjunga den bättre än vad jag 
På en Angelic så tror jag nog att jag skulle välja eh, Agolo. Ja. Eller Agolo. Alltså jag kommer att komma Agolo, 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 Agolo. Ja. Det är så den uttalas ja. tror jag. En favoritlåt från eh, någon av kvällens vinnare? Det är Chris Blackwells artist Cat Stevens. Then Father and Son is my uh, perennial uh, tune that I think goes on forever. It keeps on reliving through every generation. Yeah, that's my favorite song. Ja, det är ju Pert naturligtvis, eller naturligtvis Arvo, som är en underbar kompositör. Så att vi är mycket glada för hans del. Agolo, 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 Agolo. <laughs> Någonting sånt tror jag. Jag har lyssnat mycket på Arvo och Pert. Fyre, Fyre Alina tror jag det är en stycket detta. Nej men då säger jag pull up to the bumper. Chris Blackwells, alla hans grejer. Pull up to the bumper baby. Simmer down, don't lose your temper. Simmer down, the battle will get our turn now. Simmer down. You won't get no supper, simmer down. Oh my god. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Thank you. That was beautiful. 500 special inbjudna gäster som njuter av mat och musik här inne. Under kvällen så kommer bland andra Benjamin Ingrosso, Lisa Ekdal, Daniela Ratana och också Anna Ternheim, bland andra som sagt att hylla årets polarpristagare. Och de är World Music-ikonen Angelique Kidjo som under sin otroliga karriär har spridit både budskap och musik över hela världen. Och ikväll har hon redan lyckats sprida så mycket glädje när hon gick upp på scenen och dansade. Ikväll så får hennes Grammys sällskap av ett polarpris. Välförtjänt får man väl säga. Vi har också Chris Blackwell som är grundaren av skivbolaget Island Records som har gett oss många, många stjärnor. Bland annat Bob Marley, U2 och Cat Stevens. Och det kan jag ju säga på en gång. Cat Stevens eller Yusuf Islam som han heter nu för tiden. Han är alltså här ikväll för att hylla sin vän Chris Blackwell. Och kanske, kanske, kanske lite också för att få hänga med sin syssling som han sitter bredvid där, Sissela Kyle. Vi har också Mikael Pert som är här. Han tar emot Polarpriset och sin pappas vägnar, Arvo Pert, vars unika kompositioner lyckats locka helt nya lyssnare till den klassiska musiken, inte minst via filmens värld. Ja, kvällens pristagare har för alltid skrivit in sig i musikhistorien, det förstår vi ju alla. De har också ikväll skrivit in sig i Polarprisets storslagna historia. Polarpriset instiftades av min pappa Stickan Andersson 1989, men delades ut för första gången 92. Hela idén med Polarpriset det är att ge priset i olika genrer. Vad vi vill, det är ju liksom att pristagarna ska känna att vi gör ett helt unikt event bara för den personen. I've never met a king before. Love you. You blew my cover. Tusen tack. Grazie, mille grazie. Thank you. Personligen så tycker jag att Salma Fakirs eh, Soulsborough Hill är en av de bästa framförande vi någonsin har haft. Jag älskar det. Jag tycker att det är viktigt att vi visar att musik är jätteviktig. Musik är viktigt. Årets pristagare Chris Blackwell, det är mannen bakom skivbolaget Island Records. Utan Chris Blackwell så hade du och jag förmodligen aldrig hört talas om varken Bob Marley eller U2 eller Cat Stevens eller Yusuf Islam som man heter nu för tiden. 
som nu ska få höra en av sina egna många klassiker. Ladies and gentlemen, in 1970, Cat Stevens released one of his many hit songs on Island Records. Here to perform Wild World, Benjamin Ingrosso. Something new And it's breaking my heart You're leaving Baby, I'm grieving And if you want to leave Take good care I hope you have a lot of nice things to wear But then a lot of nice things Turn bad out there Oh, baby, baby It's a wild world It's hard to get by a smile. Oh, baby, baby, it's a wild world. I'll always remember you just like a child. You know, I've seen a lot of what the world can do, and it's breaking my heart in two. Cause I don't wanna see you sad, girl. Don't be a bad girl. Just remember there's a lot of bad and beware Sing it! Oh, baby, baby, it's a wild world It's hard to get by, just don't let us Oh, baby, baby, it's a wild world yeah. I'll always remember you, just like a child There's a lot of bad and beware Oh, baby, baby, it's a wild world Hey! It's hard to get by Just don't let us It's a wild world. Thank you so much. Tack så mycket. Tack. Benjamin, det var det galnaste jag har varit med om. Åh, oh, vilken jävla publik. Vad hände? Det var helt otroligt. Nej, men och sen kommer Cat Steven. Nej, men alltså, man bara, va? Det var ju mäktigt. Ju. Jag tänkte fråga dig så här, hur kändes det att sjunga inför artisten själv? Ja, men, jag men alltså, menar... panik. Men nu känns det skönare. Panik innan, men va, alltså, varenda en ställde sig upp ja. hela konarsbordet, kunga familjen. Jag fattade familjen. ingenting. Och sen kramen från Cat Steven. Så fint, jag blev helt rörd. Va, tänk om du hade vetat att det skulle bli så här, hade du inte behövt vara nervös? Nej, nej, jag var pissnervös innan. Åh, oh, hur nervös då? Nej, men alltså, jag är alltid nervös. Inför, ja. Framförallt så här, 
alltså tv och sådär, men också när man står inför någon som man ska sjunga något där man vet att det betyder något för någon annan. Ja. Du vet, han vill ju inte se sin låt bli slaktad. Nej. Så man är ju nervös över det. Men en kram är ändå en kram. Alltså, och han sprang upp på scenen och så, gav dig alltså, det. Så Vad var det som gjorde att du valde just Wild World? Det finns ju så Nej, många med det. det finns jättemånga, men alltså, för mig är ju det den låten som jag har lyssnat på mest ja. av hans bibliotek. Ja. Så att, och sen har jag alltid hört i slutet, jag arrade om den i slutet gjorde lite andra ackord och sådär som jag alltid hört i mitt huvud när jag lyssnar på. Så ja. nu fick jag chansen att göra det. Och så har du någon relation till, till någon av de andra? Jag tänker Chris Blackwell har ju många artister ja, Youtube, alltså, Bob Marley. Bob Marley har jag ju någon slags koppling till för att jag vet att han har jobbat med min mormor en gång tidigare. Kristina Skolin? Ja, jag vet att, eller jag tror om, alltså jag, jag är 90% säker, vi kan fråga mormor sen ja. att jag har spelat, att han har spelat på mormors flygel hemma. Det är, mäktigt, bara, det är också mäktigt Det är skitmäktigt Alltså det är helt galet alltså, Det är typ för sjukt för att det kanske inte är sant Men vi ska vi fråga Vi kollar med Kristina Skolin Men ja. nu ska du faktiskt få njuta ja. För det var en succé Stort tack Benjamin Tack själv Kat Stevens som sagt Som precis stod på scenen Och kramade Benjamin Ingrosso En husgud för många Men det finns allt fler husgudar Här på plats i Vinterträdgården På Grand Hotel ikväll vi har till exempel Daniela Ratana på plats. Vi har också Lisa Ekdal, Deportis och Anna Ternheim. Några av dem står just nu backstage och sjunger upp för att hylla årets pristagare. Vi är snart tillbaka. It's my will to listen to it, to see if it's something which can reach a wider audience. Thank you so much. Standing Thanks. Ovations. That was crazy. A hug like, by I ex- Cat Stevens? Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, how does it feel? That was awesome. I expected like a very chill audience, you know, giving me some applause after the number. But then the fact that he actually like went up on stage and gave me a hug. That was crazy. That is crazy. Yeah, I'm, I'm, so, uh, I'm well, so glad. I'm happy for you. Uh, you know, I've been uh, lurking around backstage today a lot. Yeah. And I've noticed that a lot of artists have been very nervous. Oh, yeah. So what makes everyone so nervous about the Polar Music Prize? To perform at the Polar Music Prize? I, I, I think the fact that everyone in this room are very like important people in, in the culture industry. Uh, I, I see a lot of my like, you know, colleagues, but also like mentors and, and uh, it's just like a very like, you know, prestige filled room. A lot of royalty, not, not just the Swedish royalty, but just in, in music as music well. Music royalty. Yeah. And uh, I was wondering, you move between a lot of different music styles. Yeah. yeah. And um, what are you tackling next? Uh, Is it like rock, rap? Wait and see. Okay, yeah. exciting. But can you give me a little like... Nothing. Little Nothing? No. Okay. No expectations. But I know that you're a very, very talented chef. Mm. What Thanks. would you, like, if you invited Warrior. these guys to, uh, to dinner, what would oh. you serve? I would serve the king probably like the best pasta he's ever had. What is the best pasta that you've ever had? My saffron pasta. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice. You see? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I think there's a speech. Okay, there's a speech. Or something. We have to be quiet. Yeah. Pasta. But we'll continue shortly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, back to well, you. Have... Yeah. <laughs> if you would give anyone the Polar Music Prize, who would that be? I think that would be either like David Foster, maybe Stevie Wonder. Has Stevie Wonder a Polar Prize? Oh, I don't think so. Yeah. Then he should definitely maybe. have one. Yeah. Yes. Any girls that you can think of? Rita Franklin. We'll give it to her right away. Yeah, but she's dead. Yeah, but we can give it after. Okay, good, good, good. You can choose whoever you want. But she's dead. It doesn't work. Rita Franklin is my my music god. And. Uh, I know that you have another favorite song by Cat Stevens. Uh, Father and Son. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah of yes. course. I, I had a blackout. So Sorry. how did you choose? Uh, for me, I, I, I've, al- I've always heard like a different chord progression in Wild World, Wild World that I've always like wanted to try, and this time I had the opportunity to try that. Perfect. Yeah. And if you would win the Polar Music Prize, mm-hmm. who would sing for you? Oh, probably someone who's not born yet. Who's not what? Born yet. Yeah. yeah. 
I can't hope... you think of anyone that's born? Uh, I have no idea, actually. Like, uh, probably like a young talent who, who's like, you know, up and coming in a few years. Okay. That would be a dream. But do you ever get starstruck, like in an environment like this? Like, yeah, kind of, but also like I have so much respect. So it's more like, you know, we're all people. Uh, but I can admire someone, but but I, I rarely get starstruck. I got starstruck like once. Bye. Uh, <laughs> when I, but that was when I was young and I met Ulf Brunberg who plays Von Heden in Jönsson Hika. Which no one here who, who doesn't know any Swedish people, I know. they won't know a shit of what I just said. But he was like my childhood hero. <laughs> I want to know about your outfit. Yeah. Because you're so fashionable. Thank you. And tell me. So this it? is a creation styled by my stylist, Dennis Bruckner. Yes. Together with Oskar Jakobsson. Wow. Uh, just for this occasion. So, um, so I'm very like, you know, I am, I feel, I feel very nice in this. I can, I mean. And so are you. You. Oh, thank we you. We kind of match. Yeah, we match. Yeah. like salt and pepper. 100%. <laughs> no, but you look amazing and your performance Thanks. was just beyond. Thanks. Do Thank you, you so ever much. get nervous? All the time. All the time. All the time. Even yeah. tonight. Even tonight. My, my legs were shaking, so I'm glad I had this over <laughs> in front of the legs. But so when does that like, when do you get over that? Never. When you leave the stage? I, I, I don't think I've ever like, I will always be a bit nervous. Then ho hopefully it will, you know, uh, get less and less. Yes. Uh, but I think it's always nice to get a bit nervous because you, then you actually know that it's important. Like you want to perform a good performance you want to give the audience what they deserve and you did thank oh, you thanks. so thank much you for so tonight much. take care and congratulations thank thanks Tack. varmt välkomna tillbaka till 2023 års polarpris jag ljuger inte när jag säger att för en liten stund sen så skapade Benjamin Ingrosso magi här i vinterträdgården på Grand Hotel när han tolkade Cat Stevens Wild World det resulterade i att Cat Stevens själv klev upp på scenen och kramade Benjamin Ingrosso och hela publiken stod upp. Så det är underbar stämning vid borden denna kväll. Det är massor med härliga människor som är här, bland annat popstjärnan Niklas Strömstedt som jag vet är här tillsammans med sin vackra fru tillika journalisten Jenny Strömstedt. Eva Dahlgren är här såg jag också för en liten stund sedan för alltid och för alla en blek blondins hjärta. Och hon är här tillsammans med makan Eva Attling, en av våra främsta formgivare som bland annat formgivit Polarprisstatuetten sedan 2014. Det är bara några av dem som är här. Och det är ingen dålig låtskatt som alla är här för att hylla och hedra. Buffalo Soldier med Bob Marley, Morning Has Broken med Cat Steven. Sunday Bloody Sunday med YouTube. Det går knappt att tänka sig ett 70-tal eller ett 80-tal utan de ikoniska låtarna. Men så hade det faktiskt kunnat vara om inte Chris Blackwell hade fötts den där junidagen 1937 i Westminster. Chris Blackwell is the founder of Island Records, the wildly innovative, legendary music label now regarded among the most admired of all time. Chris was born in London in 1937. His parents brought him home to Jamaica when he was six months old. Chris embraced the Jamaica culture at an early age. What started to happen is I started to spend more time with people playing music. So I'd go to where there were clubs and when there were sort of big sound system sort of events, and I loved that. While working as a water ski instructor at the Half Moon Hotel, Chris heard a pianist playing. His name was Lance Hayward. Chris signed Lance, and Island Records was born. Still without a studio or even an office, Chris signed three new acts. The three records. Each of them went to one number one in Jamaica. It was really from then on that pretty much most of my time was looking for, listening to, spending time with Jamaicans and their music. In 1962, Chris heard a 15-year-old girl with a unique voice. It was Millie Small, and Chris had his first
1979, a very special band performed for the first time in London. At that time, they had not attracted much attention. Island Records would change that. I came for a concert that Bob Marley was doing in South London. Close to there, there was a little club. There was about 15 people in the club. The passion they had, you could see that they were determined. So that's why I signed them. It was always my thing. I was never really telling everybody, this is how you've got to do it. I didn't really operate in that manner. If they're doing something and they're feeling good about it, then it's my role to listen to it, to see if it's something which can re reach a wider audience. Ladies and gentlemen, Grace Jones released this next song on Island Records in 1981. It's time to pull up to the bumper. Performed by Daniela Ratana. Den här låten kom med Grace Jones i början på 80-talet och var det faktiskt flera radiostationer som förbjöds att spela den för att man tyckte att texten var lite ekivåk men här på Polarprisgalan, här är det högt till tak. Grace Jones är ju bara en av många artister som Chris Blackwell har upptäckt och så här såg du tidigare när han fick ta emot Polarpriset ur konungens hand och hyllas av Desmond Foster. There's nothing easy about the act of creating music. 
whether it is composing, singing, or arranging. And then, when you least expense it, expect it, it comes. Those tender moments of intense musical kinship and quiet clarity is when you find the way, you find the way through and the group starts to hear itself. It's part craft, part alchemy. Then your heart slows and your breath holds its beat. You know they have achieved complete harmony with each other and that moment is met with silence, a nod and then a smile. And you pray that you recorded it. <laughs> At this moment in our history, my hope is that we all continue to make music, to use music as a shared human endeavor that evokes joy and delight and connects communities and generations together in a language of harmony. That, I hope, is my legacy. Welcome, Chris Blackwell. It's such an honor to have you here. How are you this evening? I'm just amazed. It's, it's, it, it, it's the most incredible thing I've ever been to in my life. It really is. It's just fantastic. And the country is fantastic. The people, I, I can't begin to tell you. It's just heaven. Really, you're lucky. <laughs> I'm so happy that you're saying that. Eh, Chris Blackwell säger att han tycker att allt är helt fantastiskt. Hyllningarna, kvällen, landet, människorna. What did you think about the ceremony? I mean, you're used to being behind, not in front. Was That's it right. nervous? No, I was under, under pressure. Yes. But it was okay. It was okay. And Daniela Ratana doing Grace Jones. What do you think oh, about that? That was great. That was great. It was great. It really was. It was really great. Gosh, it, it, it was great. great. Great Grace, and you know, Grace is in fine shape now, you know. Yes, I know. She, she, she's it's truly amazing because <clears throat> there's, a, there's a photograph which came out just recently. Yes. I don't know if you saw it. Yes. The one where she's 
She looks like she's 17 years old. I know, I know, I know. I saw it. It's Vi pratar lite grann, I'm going to translate a little bit. Vi pratar lite grann om Daniela Ratana som var magisk naturligtvis. Han är så tacksam. Han var lite nervös inför ceremonin. För han är inte van att stå framför kameran Chris Blackwell utan bakom de här stora artisterna. Men han är jätteöverväldigad. Han tyckte att Daniela Ratana var grym. Och så börjar han prata om Grace Jones som, som fortfarande är helt fenomenal. Chris Blackwell, I'm gonna let you finish your meal. Thank you so much for letting me talk to you and congratulations oh, again. Great. Thank you great. so much. Ja, det är mycket kvar kan jag säga. Deportis tolkar U2, Lisa Ekdal ska hylla Angelique Kidjo och så ska vi få prata med Cat Stevens om bara en liten stund. Vi snart tillbaka. Well, we see the pool of prices there. Hello there. Hello. Hi. What an amazing performance. Thank you so much. Tell me everything. Well, it was uh, excellent. Um, I came out and uh, the vibe was great. Uh, they were sitting a bit close to me, though. But, um, too was, close? Uh, no, not too close. But they were right there, Victoria. I could see a smile. Everything was great. Um, they told me to um, relax, and uh, there's no need to be nervous. It was a very good turn. You feel very relaxed. I do. I feel relaxed. Um, yeah, there was no problem. It was a really nice atmosphere. This is really gorgeous here. Um, having a really lovely time. And what has made the biggest impression on you so far tonight? Uh, singing a song to Chris Blackwell, I think. Uh, having watching his expressions and uh, watching him go back, he had a couple of tissues in his hand. I was wondering if he was going to cry. Ooh. I was like, oh no, 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 no. But uh, yeah, I was only just trying to uh, relay this uh, feeling of what he had when he was working with Bob Marley at that time. And um, I'm glad we chose that song because that's a good song. Tell me about how you chose the song. Well, um, the, first of all, they asked me, um, what kind of song would you do? And I mentioned Steer It Up, and um, and they were like, yeah, that's exactly what we thought, Steer oh, It Up. So I was, uh, it was, was yeah, excellent. So which of Chris Blackwell's artists have inspired you the most? I know Bob Marley, but there are many, many more. <laughs> yeah, you see, is that name? Yes, was, from tonight. Yes, she was excellent, she had a nice vibe, and when the... Uh, when they all came together on stage and started to sing, it was excellent. Yeah. Uh, it took my heart, took my heart. But excellent. what has Chris Blackwell meant to uh, reggae music? Chris Blackwell, he opened the door, actually. It was him who, um, who actually felt it. It, it, would have, it could have been very difficult without him if he didn't make the move to, uh, to show the world, to release reggae music for the whole world. Uh, he's been doing it since um, Millie Small, My Boy Lollipop which was kind of reggae, but it was more scar. And then now he stayed with it and he continued going with it and it came into reggae, blue beats and all this type of stuff. And it's excellent, perfect. It's good. I have a question and I'm very curious okay. now uh, what answer you'll give me. <laughs> which reggae artist should we like keep an eye on right now? What are you listening to? Except from Bob Marley. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I'm listening to a few, there's... Um, this is Anthony B and um, Sisla, you know, and uh, Bounty Killer. These are my guys. <laughs> These are the guys I listen to. But perfect. We want to listen to the same as you, of course. Oh, of course. I mean, yes. you're the pro. Oh, thank you very <laughs> I much. I can tell you that. <laughs> uh, but what's Sweden like uh, as a reg reggae country? Sweden's a lovely reggae country, actually. I work a lot with, um, with a lot of the reggae artists. Um, uh, Captain Red and all those guys, uh, Sister Soul. Uh, there's a lot of artists that are really progressing in the gorgeous, progressive way. And uh, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of beautiful artists here happening. I like That's them amazing. a lot. Yes, yes, Sweden has um, has always the potential. I mean, like uh, Bob Marley and Yana Shepherd, they had a relationship. Uh, you know, Bob Marley stayed by his place writing stuff uh, and, and you know so reggae has been and Pep's hair song and, and stuff like this it's they've all been um, prolific for the reggae business I don't think you know this but I'm a very big Blackness fan oh really 
<laughs> and I listen to it, to Blackness all the time. Oh, hey. So what has that collaboration meant to you? Blackness is great. Um, I came with Blackness in the beginning. I met up with uh, Martin Johnson, Christian Falk, from a, go a person called Gordon Cyrus. And, it, you know, uh, Blackness, uh, working with Lisa Nilsson with the song Rising to the Top, this words can I express is such a, a gorgeous phenomenon. It, it's excellent to T.O., Jennifer Brown, um, um, uh, uh, Stephen Simmons, ADL, you know, Swing Fly, I mean, the list is long. I know the list is long, mm, 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 but do you have a favorite song that you uh, recorded uh, with Blackness? Um, well, I, I, I like the song we did with Lisa Nielsen, Rising to the Top. That was a really um, inspiring song Can you song give me, me a little, you know... Keep on TV. rising to the top. Mm, don't let nobody stop you. Just keep rising, oh baby. I've got my own live concert here. It's amazing. <laughs> uh, but you have uh, collaborated with a lot of artists. Mm. But who would be your dream collaboration? Mm. There's a lot of artists, yeah. I worked a lot with uh, David Byrne and Boy George and, and all kinds of artists like that. And yeah, but you've already worked with them. Yes, I have. Okay, <laughs> you have six seconds. <laughs> Give me a name. Give me a name. <laughs> <laughs> They're all the same. Thomas Lydin. Yeah! Varmt välkomna tillbaka till Vinterträdgården på Grand Hotel i Stockholm. Där kungafamiljen, artisteliten och en massa andra sköna höjdare har samlats för att fira musiken. Bland annat så såg jag för en liten stund sedan att Thomas Lydin sitter vid ett av borden. Han är en av våra största. Han firade ju 50 år som artist förra året på Globen med stor konsert. Sanna Nilsen som vi ju älskar både på jul och på allsångs sommar är på plats. Vi har också författaren, komikern, dramatiken, hedersdoktorn faktiskt, Jonas Gardell. Mark Levengod såg jag också var här, författaren och programledare. Och på tal om hedersdoktorer så såg jag faktiskt att hedersdoktorn, men kanske framförallt konstnären Lars Lerin också är på plats. Några av många. I över 30 år så har Polarpriset hyllat människor som har gjort skillnad. Som har skapat svallvågor, som har spridit glädje med sin musik. Och vår nästa pristagare har lyckats med precis just det. Från Benin i Västafrika har Angelique Kidjo spridit sin musik via Paris till resten av världen. Helt utan några som helst musikaliska gränser har hon skapat sin unika stil och fått en hel värld. Att lyssna. After almost half a century being one of the greatest influencers on the international world music scene, Angelique Kidjo has become a role model for generations to follow. I grew up in Benin, in the city of Cotonou, in a family of 10 kids. The first music I heard was traditional music because my father said I start singing before talking. And that traditional music has always been my compass. Kidio's career started out as lead singer in her high school band. In 1981, Kidio recorded the album Pretty. The success of the album allowed her to tour all over West Africa. In 1983, Angelique relocated to Paris. She initially planned to become a human rights lawyer, but ended up studying music instead. In the 1980s, when I arrived in France, it was bubbly. It was so much music at the same time. And all of it, good music. Angelique became the front singer of Jasper van der Hoek's Euro-African jazz rock band, Pili Pili. And I was one of those rare women artists of that era that is still here. Because, let's face it, music is the main dominated form of arts, too. By the end of the 80s, Kidio had become one of the most popular live performers in Paris and recorded a solo album called Paracou. She was then discovered by Island Records founder Chris Blackwell, who signed her in 1991, and the album Logoso was released that very same year. And in 1994, the album I was released, including the hit song Agolo.
the following years, Angelique collaborated in numerous projects with international musicians and composers. Always innovative, blending diverse musical styles in her own genre-crossing way. You have to be inspired. Even when you say that, you know you have the idea already. It's already in you. And when you start working, it doesn't come from nowhere. It comes from that thing that Philip Glass calls, from the domain of the unknown, is, is what inspiration is. We can't sell it. We can't buy it. It's just there. Alongside her successful musical career, Angelique also travels the world, advocating on behalf of children in her capacity as a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador. And in 2006, Angelique started her own charitable foundation, Batonga, dedicated to supporting the education of young girls in Africa. Young women are doing music today without being apologetic. That's what I wanted. That's what I was hoping for. I mean, it's crazy to see this new generation that is bold, talented, and just go for it. Besides being a role model for a younger generation of women, Angelique Kidjo has been a creative force with 16 albums to her name. She's won respect from her peers and expanded her following across national borders. Vi ska alldeles snart få höra hur det lät och hur det såg ut när Lisa Ekdal hyllade Angelique Tidjo tidigare ikväll. Men först, du måste bara berätta hur du upplevde det numret. Alltså för mig, det var så starkt för jag har älskat henne. Jag såg henne live för 30 år sedan i Kungsträdgården på ett ställe som heter Gino. Det var en upplevelse jag burit med mig. Och hon är också i Frankrike där jag jobbar mycket. Hon är sån ikon och hon gör så mycket hon integrerar liksom sin konst och sin musik med viktiga rättvisa frågor för mig. Hon är som drottning. Och så fick jag sjunga för henne och så bara, jag hade planerat att jag skulle titta på alla i hela rummet men jag tittade bara på Annelika. Jag var så liksom förförd av henne. Hon var så underbar. Det var och så hon stor. tittade bara på dig. Hon reser sig upp i ja. ett tillfälle. Alltså jag, var så alltså jag var så berörd. Det måste ha varit stort för dig. Det var så stort. Och sen hade vi också en... Paris trumpetare här som heter Ibrahim Malouf som är så stor i Paris som hon har jobbat med ja. som också bara börjar trumpeta och det var så härligt Med all den erfarenhet mm. du ändå har ja. blir du nervös när du står inför en sån ikon? Jag var nervös igår ja. för att jag älskar henne så djupt och mitt hjärta brinner för henne det jag var mest nervös för det var att jag inte skulle hinna njuta Ah. Jag kände bara direkt i början, jag njuter, jag njuter, jag njuter. <laughs> Och då kände jag så bara, tack Gud, för det var det enda jag ville när jag fick sjunga för Angelique som betyder så mycket för mig. Jag vill bara hinna njuta. Och det var inte bara du som njöt, ska jag säga. Vi njöt ah, allihopa. Tack, tack så tack, jättemycket, kära. Lisa tack. Ekdal. Angelique Kidjo har ju sitt arbete med UNICEF och den egna välgörenhetsorganisationen Batonga hjälpt unga kvinnor att ta makten över sina liv. We can't be governed if we choose love, sjunger hon i en låt som ju tolkades av Lisa Ekdal under prisceremonin tidigare ikväll. But another person here today changed my life overnight. I had sent my music to every record company in Paris. No one was interested, no one cared. Then the African activist Mamadou Conte sent it to someone in Jamaica who showed true passion for my work. 
signed me right away and started me down to the path of success. This person was Chris Blackwell. And you give me today the opportunity to thank him in front of the world. He allowed me to build bridges between all those beautiful music and peoples of the world so that we can celebrate our shared humanity with the incredible music of my continent, Africa. So let me celebrate in my way. Blewe, blewe, blewe mi anda kwelo, blewe mi anda kwelo, blewe. Kidjo som står här bredvid mig. Congratulations. Uh, it's such an honor to have you here. Uh, how has the evening been for you so far? Magical and very touching. And I wish my mother was still here. She passed away less than two years ago. And I'm sorry. I think that she will, she will have loved to be here. She believed in me. She sees something in me that I never saw in myself. She teach me to be naked spiritually every time I go on stage to be able to reach out to people. And um, I just wish she was here, but I have, me I have so much member of my family. I've received so much love in Sweden since I've been here. During my concert in Uppsala, it was already celebrating the Polar Prize before I get here. The yeah. public was on their feet, and I felt so welcome here that it warmed my heart and, and calmed me a little bit and take the the grief away for me and I can't thank Sweden enough for this. Alltså nu är det ju mycket som ska översättas men jag kan kort bara säga I'm just translating a little bit. Att hon är så tacksam så glad över att vara här i Stockholm ta emot priset. Hon var i Uppsala också och hade konsert igår och fick så mycket kärlek. Hon önskar bara att hennes mamma hade kunnat vara här som tyvärr gick bort för två år sedan. Uh, you spontaneously sang a song when you received the Polar Music Prize. What was it about? It's a song of thank and blessing that people that spend the time thinking about you, inviting you. It takes all the people for you to be someone. And I wish to everybody that is here tonight celebrating me to go back safe as when they came here safe. Tidigare så började ju Angelique Kidjo att sjunga en sång under ceremonin som, ja, men som kom spontant. Och om man ska sammanfatta det så var det en sång om tacksamhet och ja, en önskan om att alla som hade kommit hit också skulle komma härifrån på ett bra sätt. Angelique Kidjo, I have to show you something. Okay. Are you enjoying dinner? Yeah. Is it good? Perfect. Do you like dessert? Yes? Okay. I have oh a surprise for God. you. This is tonight's dessert. And do you know what that is? No. The chocolate bottom is in your honor because it's your recipe. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. No you, way. <laughs> So oh. everyone here, 500 guests are gonna have your chocolate bottom. Oh my god! You, oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> I should have shut up. <laughs> But enjoy. I will. Everybody will, and thank you so much. Angelique. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Thanks so much Thanks. for everything. Thank you. <laughs> In 1987, U2 released their classic, With or Without You. Here it is, performed for your pleasure by Deportees.
Ja, deportees i YouTube with or without you. Det är liksom som att det aldrig tar slut all den fantastiska musik som Chris Blackwells Island Records har spridit över hela världen i så många år. Och när vi kommer tillbaka, ja men då blir det mer. Anna Ternheim tolkar Roxy Music. Vi ska också prata med Kat Stevens. Så blir det också lite gala kläder med Emilia Deporet. Vi är snart tillbaka. Vi Pea painunud õppima, seda kuulama. I am waiting on deportees. I am looking for them. I don't know where they are. What an amazing performance. I can't even imagine how it feels like performing in front of some of the world's best musicians. Okay, I can see somebody running here. They are soon here and they are ready for us. Uh, I'm very excited to be talking to the deputies after this amazing tribute to uh, Chris Blackwell and you too. Hi. Hello, the English guy. Hi, yes, hi, hi. Yeah, English. Yeah. hi, Congrats. hi. Thank you, how thank was that? you. Uh, it was actually great. Uh, actually, it was great. Uh, so I'm so so relieved now. Uh, you know, it's like you've been weighing, uh, you've been carrying this weight, this nervos nervosity, and now it's like light oh, as a feather. Now. Well yeah, done. Thank you, thank you. How did you choose the song? Uh, or you, the band? No, the band. Yeah, we um, we were uh, asked and uh, told who to uh, like pay tribute to, uh, to to Chris Blackwell, and then we. We picked you two, and we picked the, this is our favorite song from them. So uh, it was pretty easy choice. So. It was an easy, easy task. Yeah, <laughs> I, I mean not easy if you, we could have chosen different artists yeah. that were released on Island Records. But when it came to doing a U2 song, it was an easy choice. Yes. Uh, and I know you are from a small town in Sweden. Can I call you uh, the Bono of Vindam? <laughs> And I know Edge was standing next to you. I mean, <laughs> Edge is all, uh, well. I haven't heard that uh, uh, before, but uh, I don't think it would stick. But uh, if you please, you can. Pick I thought it was yeah. great. <laughs> um, so Deportees started in 2003, yeah. and you've toured a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, give us your best touring memory. Best touring memory. I don't know. I, saw, I mean, I remember uh, I saw this artist called D'Angelo uh, released yes. in 2000 an album called Voodoo, and I saw him play for a sold out circus, and it was the best show that I've ever been to that far in my life. And I remember when we first sold out cir circus in Stockholm, a venue in Stockholm, when we first sold out, uh, it was like kind of a circle. We did a good show, and I once had a good show. Sorry. Uh, it's a good show there, sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, so that was a great memory. Uh, and, uh, you know, I've always wanted to be in a band. Really? Yes. It's not too late. Wait, should we start a band? Uh, uh, finally. What can you play? Uh, I can sing, sing, dance or play, but I can talk. Okay. I, I can be in the background. Just talking? <laughs> but is it's it a weird um, band. <laughs> I like sing a, and you just talk. <laughs> right, I think I it's like a great it. collaboration. But it is it as amazing as it looks to be in a part uh, of a band? I never tried anything else, but I, I think it is. I mean, we always have each other, and you're, ne you're never alone. And it, uh, Although, I mean, you have to compromise all the yes. time. It's just like, I want this bass to be l played like that, or I want the chorus to be sung like that, and someone else, but no. So, I mean, if you're a solo artist, you decide for yourself, right? But if you're a band, you have to compromise all the time. So that's, I mean, but on the other hand, you have each other's back and you are together, you're never alone, and you like going on tour with your best friends and stuff. It's, uh, I, I guess that's what you imagine, right? Yes, it uh, is. Yeah. And that's why we're starting this band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we're Check gonna us have out. a great Check time. Us out. Yeah, of course, of course. But you mentioned Island Records before and Chris, mm -hmm. Chris Blackwell, of yeah, course. Yeah. Uh, do you have any favorite other art, other favorite artists from uh, that he discovered? Uh, I I mean uh, I I really love uh, Roxy Music and Brian Ferry. Uh, 
But Marley, of course, uh, I don't know if he if he was to. I know that P.D. Harvey. I love P.D. Harvey. She released on Island Record. I don't know if it was Chris Blackwell who signed her or not. But uh, as many, many, the list goes on. It's like a super cool, great label. Yeah. I know that there are very many like great musicians from um, where are you from? Umeå. Umeå, exactly. Uh, why do you think there are so many good musicians from Umeå? I think that part of the explanation is, uh, you know, in the 90s, there was this uh, huge, like, uh, vegan, straight edge, hardcore. You know, do you, you know that? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I, was in, I was in that movement as well. Like, uh, had short hair and uh, were vegan and played really hard, punk, hardcore music. And a lot of the bands uh, that grew up in that, uh, during that era, moved on to different genres and started a band themselves. And then, and most important, I think that everyone stayed, mostly everyone stayed, you know? From other small cities in Sweden, people that like have a career in music usually moved to Stockholm or Gothenburg, but in Umeå, people stayed. So like me, I still live there, uh, even though like people are like, hey, you gotta move here, you gotta move here. I mean, so I think it, that's part of it, the people, stays in you know, and that creates a different vibe. How come? And I mean, it's a good, really good city, you know. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> we got that. Exactly. We got the countdown. <laughs> down. Okay. But I want you to tell me who you want to give the Polar Music Prize to. Ooh, really? Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, 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 okay. 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 Och då menar jag såklart inte det. Alla är inte här. Många här, men inte alla. Men en som är här är honom som ni kanske känner som Cat Stevens. Som ju faktiskt heter Yusuf Islam numera. Yusuf, I'm such... I'm, I'm so honored and so happy to have you here. Welcome. Thank you so much. Very you happy to be here. You have to tell me about the evening so far. How has it been for you? It's been incredible. I mean, the the atmosphere and of course the connection which I have it's about music you know and music is something which surpasses all borders and and yet there's so many connections here which I have with real people you know like Chris Blackwell yes. you know the guy that opened the door for me I know and uh, I had so much success with him and of course being in Sweden which is my motherland I know and uh, <laughs> Well, so it's, it's a big night. So big many night. things. So I'm just going to translate a little bit. Han är så glad över att vara här. Han har en connection med Sverige. Han är ju så glad över att vara här och få hylla Chris Blackwell såklart. But I want to know, what did you think about Benjamin Ingrosso when oh, he sang Wild World? I loved it. And I loved the, his voice is incredible. I know. Um, and he dressed very well. I know. <laughs> Uh, but but the uh, the rhythm also I loved it because it had a slight Jamaican Jamaican feel which I actually you know it's a root of the song and, and I loved it but his voice is very special I'd love to work with him Wow who knows I'm gonna tell him who knows his mind's gonna blow and I was glad Benjamin and Grosso and you can find up on and kramade honom after that Benjamin had the the wild world and he skulle vilja jobba med Benjamin and Grosso I hope that you sit and look now Eller om du sitter och käkar Benjamin, jag vet inte. And the connection to Sweden, we know that you have relatives here, for yes. example. Yes, Cicilla. Uh, Cicilla Schiele, one of our my... most loved actors. Yes, and of course my mother came from Jävla. Jävla. Um, and so I have Jan Sherman is also my um, relative. He was... Um, the old TV4 boss. TV4 Jan boss. Jan <laughs> Yes, I met him today again. So, so. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I have lots of relatives. And if you try to put in words what Chris Blackwell means to you, and the reason why I suppose that you're here tonight to honor him, what would yeah. you say? Uh, he's a gatekeeper. As he said, you know, sometimes someone would come to him wanting him to open the door. And that's exactly what he did. He opened the door. But it's not just that. He has an incredible love of music. It's, he's not an executive, you know, record label boss. He loves music, and that's that's why he's successful. 
Chris Blackwell som är hela skälet faktiskt till att Yusuf är på plats ikväll. Även om han är släkt med både Janne Scherman, gamla TV4-chefen och Cicela Kile, vår skådespelerska. Det är ju ändå Chris Blackwell och han är inte bara en möjliggörare, beskriver Yusuf, utan han älskar också musiken. Well, Yusuf Islam, thank you so very much. Thank you so much, I thank enjoyed you. it. Hey då. Hey då. Ladies and gentlemen, hope you're having fun because we're just getting started. This next song was released by Roxy Music on Island Records in 1975. Here is Love is the Drug, performed by Anna Ternheim. som ni kunde höra såklart fick ett ljudproblem och det vill man inte ha när man ska tolka några av de största artisterna som finns. Jag tänkte att jag skulle kunna försöka medan som ställer samman ljudet och ser om vi kan få höra musiken också. Det är ju trots allt en musikhyllning. Kanske skulle kunna prata med någon av alla gäster men vi får se. Nu låter det högt i salongen så vi lämnar igen till musiken. Varsågod.
alldeles egna countrydrottning Jill Jonsson. Och vad jag förstår Jill så gjorde du verkligen det omöjliga för att ta dig hit ikväll. Varför då? Eh, ja, omöjligt var det inte, men jag är glad att jag kom hit. Men jag har repeterat med Malmö symfoniorkester nere på Malmö Live ja. för fantastiska konserter i helgen. Och är så glad att jag fick komma lite senare än alla andra. Men var varför var det så viktigt för dig att vara här ikväll? Jag tycker att Polarpriset är Sveriges finaste musikpris, kanske till och med världens, utan att kunna alla priser. Jag tycker den här kvällen är jätteviktig för svensk musik. Ja. Och jag tycker det är en ynnest att få vara här och, och träffa alla kollegor och hylla världens fantastiska aktör. Och vet du vad? Nej. Jag har förstått ja. att ditt firande det fortsätter imorgon. Ja, det gör det. Berätta! <laughs> ja, jag fyller 50 imorgon. Yay! Ja. Alltså jag är så lycklig över att få vara en av de första som säger ja, grattis till dig på 50 års dag. Tack. Och välkommen till vår sida. Ja men tack så mycket. Rätt sida mitten. Här är det underbart kan jag säga. Ja, tack snälla tack, Jill snälla. Jonsson. Tack. Hörrni när man ska på Polarpriset då tar man inte bara på sig vad som helst i garderoben utan man håller på och fixar och fejar. När vi kommer tillbaka så blir det hot kotyr och koll på alla kläder tillsammans med Emilia de Porrett. Och så ska vi också hylla Arvo Pack. Vi är snart tillbaka. Hello. Hi. 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 So, what do you think has been the highlight of the evening so far? Uh, oh, there are so many highlights, I must say. This is such a wonderful evening, such a nice vibe. Uh, Anna Tanheim just performed. Amazing. Amazing. She's that how deep voice. How do you voice. get that voice? Yeah, how do you oh. get that voice? So but dark. also, Daniela Gatana. She really came and took the stage with that pull up to my bumper. Let me stop you right there. <laughs> she, I mean, can we talk about Daniela? She brought Grace Jones to the stage. <laughs> oh, it was amazing. That was amazing. But I think Daniela Ratana and Grace Jones were a perfect match. Absolutely. What, like, what parallels do you see? Uh, they are very artistic, very, I mean, uh, 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 both, they're, pretty physical artists and uh, excellent voices uh, but uh, I mean very much working with uh, the aesthetic uh, just making a performance that is Daniela's strength and her voice of course but also was J Grace Jones I mean she could walk in into a room just like Daniela and just take over the blow room. people away so oh. that was that was oh, lovely that's... lovely that was amazing <laughs> I know that you know everything there is to know about music. Uh, well, uh, a lot. It, it has to stand for you, but I will do my best. <laughs> okay. But did you learn anything new about tonight's laureates? Uh, absolutely. Um, I did. I, I did. I mean, I enjoyed the the small videos of all the the, the people who came who, who got prizes today. Yeah. I mean, to learn about history about people who has been working in the industry for so long, making an impact on music for so long. Uh, so yes, I, I absolutely I did. Speaking of impact, how would you describe uh, Chris Blackwell's impact on music? I mean, it's, for example, like if you, if <laughs> you asked me before if I learned something, yes. I mean, to have his history uh, read out to you and explained to you, he, to have a, a mind like his, to see talent in so many different genres and also be so uh, creative and uh, uh, self-assured to let other people's talent come through like that. I mean, from you 2 to Bob Marley, that is such a wide range, range yeah. absolutely. So, I mean, I learned a lot from him and uh, I, yeah, that was, 
amazing to hear about the island. Do you have uh, like a, fi a favorite uh, artist from Island Records that you listen oh. to yourself? I mean, there are so many. Who should I pick? I don't really know. <laughs> Bob Marley. <laughs> many, many people tonight have chosen Bob Marley. Oh, really? So apparently he's a favorite. Uh, uh, we had a really nice time at our table. At to, uh, I'm sitting with together with Angelique Kidjo's family. Oh. Yes. So we got Vibin, Vib Desmond, sang oh. it, stir it up. That was a moment. That was a moment. That was a moment. But speaking of Desmond and the reggae music and Angelique and everything, um, what reggae music should we keep an eye on right now? Ooh. Hmm. That is a hard question. Uh, reggae music seems like it's always present in some yeah, at some point, yeah. um, I cannot. I'm sorry, I cannot really pick an artist to have uh, an eye on. But all that music coming from that region, Caribbean music, and uh, it's, uh, I mean, you have to just keep your ears and eyes open. Exactly. But and Cat Stevens, Bob Marley, you too. You mentioned it yourself just earlier. It's a very broad range of uh, music styles. But how has Chris Blackwell managed to stay so relevant for such a long time? Uh, well, I think that he has a, a pure uh, music heart. And it seems like he has always been interested in putting the artist first, to spot talent and to put the, the music and the artist's ambitions first. He, to have a, a, a role in the background like that. And that, that takes a lot of intelligence and um, uh, self-esteem and never to lose that curiosity. I think that's his strength to be like, what's the next thing? And not to have any uh, standard what's good or bad or just to, like he said, uh, to find something and bring it to a, a broader audience. That's his strength. I have to ask you, if you were able to give the Polar Music Prize to anybody, who would that have been? Madonna. Okay. <laughs> That's a perfect answer. I love it. Thank you so much for joining Thank us you. tonight. Thank you. And have fun. Well, you too. Thank you very much. Tack snälla. Välkomna tillbaka till Polarpriset 2023 där vi såklart hyllar enastående insatser i musikens tjänst. Men det finns ju många andra uttrycksformer också och inte sällan hänger de här ihop. Till exempel artisternas musik och deras kreationer. Emilia det på rätt. du har varit här hela eftermiddagen, hela kvällen och spanat och spejat. Vad säger du? Nej, men det har varit en otrolig... Svart matta har det faktiskt varit. Ja. Inte bara den röda mattan. Eh, och det är roligt för det är klädd på the smoking. Och man har tolkat det här på lite olika sätt, vilket jag tycker är spännande. Och bara för sakens skull, smoking, klädkål, det innebär väl långklänning på damerna, eller? Det behöver inte göra det. det så långklänning och kort. Men idag ja. så har man börjat tänja lite på gränserna så att man inte är lika formell. Och framförallt tror jag en kväll som denna, när det är musiken som står i fokus, kreativitet, kultur, då vågar man också tänja lite på modegränserna, vilket är väldigt spännande. Jag tycker vi tar och tittar lite på en spaning som jag har gjort. Ja, vi har gjort tre huvudspaningar. Precis. Börja med den första. Tre spaningar ja. och eh, den första är faktiskt att det har väldigt mycket färg. Kul! Ja, ta och titta. Det är krumpisassan såklart. Daniela Ratana som hade en helt magisk kreation. Matchade ah. håret med fransarna. Man bara älskade. Men hon är så häftig. Ja, färg på accessoarer. Man tog verkligen i, som du ser här, hård accessoarer. Eh, rött och rosa i allt en underbar kombination. Eh, det var grönt, det var ljusblått eh, och folk som du säger alltså, verkligen också levde ut på mattan. Här Olla. älskar man också ljusrosa, härlig dröm, eh, orange turkos, oväntade färgkombinationer. Det tycker jag var en härlig spaning. Har vi blivit bättre på det? Jag tycker vi har varit lite nedtonade tidigare år i, ja, i Sverige. Ja, vi börjar ta för oss, vilket är faktiskt väldigt härligt. <laughs> och apropå att ta för sig då, nästa spaning är att det var väldigt mycket glitter. Det glittrade om eh, mattans gäster. Det är så roligt, jag på att säga, är det modernt just nu Emilia? Ja, med glitter, men jag behöver bara titta på det. Det är glitter, jag, jag behöver titta på drottning Silvia som bara en magisk kreation. 
Eh, Angelica, men det här var ju liksom fantastiskt. Vilken klänning. Ja. Eh, Lisa Ekdal hade glitter på sina händer, på vantarna. Ja, men du vet. Underbart. Eh, fransar, eh, paljetter, men bara oh! glitter. Ja, paljettskavajer. Det var silver, det var guld, det var alla regnbågens färger i glitter. Underbart. Så mycket färg, mycket glitter, lite mer så här uttryckshull. Mm. Två av spaningarna. Ja. Och den tredje, ja, hur den? Kanske inte helt otippat. Jag tror att många gäster kände att vi tolkar Polar Music Price svarta matta med svart. Ja. Så vi såg faktiskt väldigt mycket svart på den svarta mattan också. Benjamin Grosso. Men han hade tjuv, Jag va? vet, det var helt underbart. Det var en special liksom, skapad smoking för honom. Eva Dahlgren var fantastisk med svarta långa handskar. Ja. Även lite fint tycker jag till de här svarta småkningen att männen bara bråser. Det var en liten spaning jag gjorde. Ja. Ehm, och sen Lena Endre som ju alltid är smashing i vad hon än bär. Ehm, svart och vitt är också en väldigt fin färgkombination. Så vill man bara inte ha helt svart så kan man alltid plocka upp det vita, vilket ju förstås männen gör. Det här tyckte jag också var härligt att se att männen tar ut svängarna. Oh. Och sen var det också väldigt mycket kärlek på röda mattan. Oh. Och det älskar man ju. <laughs> ja. Det älskar man ju det verkligen. Det är pussades och skrattades. Underbart. Ja. Och en, en klänning som vi antar att du också tycker samma, kronprinsessan Victoria. Ja men alltså, då var det så att det blev liksom, andan gick ur alla som stod kvar på röda mattan. Hon var ju absolut majestätisk i sin fantastiska neongula tyllkreation som är en, en klänning som hon har burit tidigare och det tycker jag också är så fint när kronprinsessan Victoria åter, alltså återbrukar, att man älskar någonting, att man är värd om och om igen. Det ska vi alla göra. Och hon sticker liksom ut men hon gör det ja. med någon slags liksom samvete och hjärta. Ja, det här Nä, var så nej, men helt otroligt. Hon överträffar sig själv varje polarpris. Ja, men jag håller med och det är också kul. Det är roligt att se att här kan hon också ta ut svängarna lite grann. Det här är en, en plats där hon kan verkligen klä sig med mycket uttryck, mycket färg eh, i juliga kreationer. Så att det gillar man. Emilia, det får ett stort tack för att du kom hit och hjälpte oss att hålla koll på dessa gala stasser. Tack. Som klassisk kompositör så konkurrerar man ju med musik som är skriven under många hundratals år. Och ändå så har Arvo Pack lyckats skapa sig ett namn bland de riktigt stora mästarna. Han har trollbundit musikälskare över hela världen. Ofta med den här minimalistiska stilen som man själv har förklarat med att tystnaden är alltid mer perfekt än musiken. Det gäller bara att höra den. The work of Arvo Pärt has played a significant role in the soundscapes of contemporary music since the 1960s. Especially with his unique compositional technique, Tintinabili, which Pärt invented in 1976, he has deeply affected the course of music over several decades. His works have reached a vast number of listeners, not only via concerts and recordings, but also through films and theatrical productions. Yksi ilus aika on alatti, kun se olet hädäs. Kun se otsit nagu nullist peale. Arvo Pärt was born on September the 11th, 1935, in Paida, Estonia. After studies in Heino Eller's composition class at the Tallinn State Conservatory, he worked as a sound engineer for Estonian radio. Since the late 1960s, Pat has been a freelance composer. As one of the most radical representatives of the Soviet avant-garde in the 1960s, Pat's work passed through a profound evolutionary process, from neoclassical piano music to his unique use of dodecophony, sonorism, chance music, and the collage technique. After his last and most dramatic collage piece, Credo, 1968, Pärt withdrew for almost eight years. Both the avant-garde spirit of Pärt's early works and the religious nature of the music he composed in the 1970s led to controversial reviews and confrontations with Soviet officials. In 1980, Arvo Pärt and his family were forced to immigrate, first to Vienna and then to Berlin where they stayed for almost 30 years. The early 1980s marked the beginning of his creative collaboration with the publisher Universal Edition, as well as the distinguished CD label ECM Records, 
Since then, his music has been performed and recorded by the best orchestras and interpreters of our time. Around the time of Estonia's restoration of independence in 1991, Pert reconnected with his homeland and its musical life. He's lived permanently in Estonia since 2010. That same year, the Arvo Pert Center, which holds Pert's personal archive, was established in Laulusma, near Tallinn, by the composer's family. Armastus on kõikide kunstide allikas. Kunst eksisteerib nii kaua maailmas, kui eksisteerib võime armastada. Spiegel in Spiegel, det är ett av Arvo Perts mest kända verk. Och det här stycket har ju varit soundtrack till ett 20-tal filmer. Så det är säkert många som kanske vanligtvis inte lyssnar på klassisk musik som har hört just det här stycket. Så här såg du tidigare ikväll när Arvo Pert hyllades. sends his love to all of you here tonight. At a micro level, Pert's music speaks to the individual. It invites the listener inwards to experience the reflection uh, of the person in a deeply personal way. At a macro level, Pert's music speaks to the larger question of faith and existence as a whole. It, it invites us to view the nature of the universe and our place within it. Thank you very much. Ja, här på plats i Vinterträdgården på Grand Hotel i Stockholm så har vi Mikael Pert. Welcome, Mikael. Uh, you're here uh, to receive the, the Polar Prize in behalf of your father, who can't be here. Yes, um, he sends his love and wishes to everybody here in this room and to everybody out there who's watching. And uh, his age doesn't allow him to be here, but I'm here in his stead. That's the way it is sometimes. Yes. Uh, Arvo Pert can't just be here, so Mikael, his son, is here and takes the prize and his vägnar. But he greets him so well. All he does is that he can stay at home in Estland. Uh, what do you think that this prize means to him? Have you talked to him about it? Well, the, I can say that an artist, every artist has a message. And every message has a purpose. So the, the, the question is, they, they all express the, the inner world to the audience. Yes. And it could be music, it could be visual art, it could be architecture, it could be anything that you want. So by being honored um, of the Polar Music Prize, um, it really is a recognition, a recognition that his message and his purpose has reached the audience. 
How has it been for you to be here in this ambiance and see everything and hear everybody talk about your father in the way that they do? Well, the history of the la laureates in the past already tell the tale. And it is very clear that um, where the Polar Prize has position itself in the music industry and it is really the go-to place and it is an, an utmost honor to be here. Have you been growing up with all this fantastic music all your life? Well, maybe less glamorous. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I guess. Yeah, this, this is really, such, you know, the, the dot on the I or crossing the T and um, the everyday life and the everyday work is, um, is somewhat different. Of course it is. I would like you please to send all our regards to your father, Arvo Pat. Han berättar här nu Mikael att han har ju vuxit upp med den här musiken men det har varit lite mindre glamoröst än vad det är just ikväll. Och att eh, han känner att budskapet som hans pappa har haft när han har gjort sitt musik, det har verkligen gått fram. Och att det är en ära för honom att få vara en del av så många som har fått Polarpriset tidigare. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, in 2007, Arvo Pärt finished his work, The Deer's Cry, performed this evening by the St. Jakobs Kammer Chor.
Ja, Mark Leven och Jan Gravall ska försöka hjälpa mig att sammanfatta den här magiska kvällen. Sen ska vi få höra en av Talking Heads absolut största hits som de såklart spelade in i Chris Blackwells studio. En låt som Angelique Kidjo också har gjort. Så allting hänger ihop. Det blir once in a lifetime. Vi är snart tillbaka. Phone. This is mine. Okay, yes, thank it's you. all yours. <laughs> so I have the fashion guru with me. So, do you have any favorite looks from tonight's red carpet? Or from tonight? Apart from you then. You're not allowed to say really. Of course, I can you, say whatever. <laughs> no, I love, I mean, I know we both loved Crown Princess Victoria. She was incredible in uh, neon, green, till. Oh. It was like fantastic. She used actually um, a dress that she's been wearing before, which I also loved. Daniela Ratana, another one, which really delivered. And, of course, last but not least, Benjamin Grosso. I love that he was wearing a tuxedo and a tailor-made skirt. I thought that was very cool and, um, you know, Super cool. unusual. Very unusual. Tell me about your look. How much time have you spent on your look? Well, I started a couple of months ago when I was in Paris. It's true, actually, because I knew I was going to work tonight. And I found this dress, and I thought that it was going to be perfect for uh, an evening celebrating music and... You know, everything fantastic. It is. I love it. Yeah. Golden Thank you. eye. It's Thank perfect. You. So, which three artists in the world has the coolest style right now? Ooh, that's... There are many, I would say. Uh, but currently, I mean, Beyoncé was just here. She was uh, rocking it on stage in... Uh, all those incredible brands. Uh, Rihanna with her beautiful, you know, baby belly, uh, fantastic when she yes. was on um, um, Super Bowl yes. in a red outfit. I thought that was incredible. Um, Harry Styles, we discussed him earlier. I think it's so cool. Yeah, yes. it's so cool. I love that, you know, you can push the gender fluidity. I think that's how fashion is right now. Yeah. Like you should be able to wear whatever you feel like and be whoever you want. Totally agree. I'm very curious now. So, Spotify usually like lists the song that you play the most at the moment. Mm -hmm. What are you listening to? So, I love Daniela Ratana. I mean, obsessed with her. I am too. Uh, as you could see tonight as well. Oh. She's the superstar of uh, Sweden. Uh, I like Daniel Caesar. I don't know if you listen to him. No, I haven't, no, but I have very too. Very cool. He's been collaborating with lots of different artists. Uh, fantastic songwriter, uh, musician. And what else? Uh, Swedish Lucia. Oh, yeah. I really Someone think to, she's uh, a, to look yes, up for. to look up for. Um, <clears throat> so you got a foot both in music and in fashion. How important is the visual part as an artist? But I would say that it really, s I mean, it's so crucial for an artist to express the music through the quotes. Uh, and it has always been. And even if it's, you know, talk about extremely uh, simple stage outfit. It can be just as effective. It doesn't have to yeah. be Beyonce style with, you know, over the top. Um, so I think it's very much part of who the artists are and who, what they want to express. That was the part that I obviously then loved most by being an artist was the clothes, but still it's it's very important. And speaking of you being an artist... Um, Many moons ago in my no, previous life. No, it yeah. feels like yesterday. Uh, <laughs> Can you give us your like best memory uh, from life on tour? Uh, life on tour. Oh, can I say like a terrible memory instead? Yes. Talking about Even clothes, better. stage, uh, music. I uh, actually was supposed to perform in Australia in a big TV show, and my dress, uh, the zipper broke. No. Which is very common. It happens, okay. but it's not so much fun when it happens when you go but on like live on TV. stage. It was on live TV for a million viewers. Ah, um, like if your dress would break right now. Yeah, exactly. Oh, but what I, did you do? No, you know, I was a bit ahead of time. Yes. I went for the naked fashion. So it was like all open in the back. And yeah, I think, it, you know. And you, you just continue. I continued. Oh, what can you wow. Do? That's how it is. Uh, you have, uh, wow, I can't, I can't get over that. You have attended a lot of galas. Um, what is so like special and unique with the Polar Music Prize? Wow, well, uh, it's such an I mean, incredible evening in so many aspects. First, you have the music, which is really uniting everyone. And you also have, I mean, we can see behind us here, it's, it's an incredible mix of people. Yes. You have 
everyone from, from culture to uh, artists to musicians to politicians to royalties to um, people from the from you know any kind of industry. So I think it's it's a unique evening in that sense, and that's why you have so many great conversations around the table. And then again, it's about to celebrate the music and to celebrate the laureates. And the music performances are spectacular. Yes, hundred yeah. percent. If you would give the Polar Music Prize to anybody, who would that be? Well, the first one to just come to my mind, since uh, you know we we love to celebrate women yeah. in music. Uh, and she was just here, and she, you know, she took Stockholm down with her incredible talent. I think Beyonce should have it. That's a she, good, she, good she choice. She should be like, a, yeah. I think she's a worthy winner. And if you were to win, who would perform this, your songs? Oh my God, Daniela Ratana. Of course. <laughs> or Beyonce. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe both. Both, exactly. In a fantastic you lucky, duet. Yeah. Lucky, lucky yeah. one. <laughs> yeah. I also um, I was also thinking. Uh, now Louise is looking at me that we're supposed to wrap up. No, no, no we're not going to wrap it up. <laughs> Never. We just going to wrap it up. <laughs> Emilia, I am so thankful for having you here. Thank you Good so much. Good luck tonight. Thank Have you. fun, and you, you look too. amazing. See you on the dance and floor. See you on the dance floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Välkomna tillbaka till Polarpriset här på Grand Hotel. Alltså för att sammanfatta en sån här kväll som fyller den med så mycket känslor och toner så behöver man en popprofessor och en Mark Levengott. Så varmt välkomna båda två. Tackar. Jan, vad säger du? Vad är det som har liksom lämnat allra starkast avtryck under kvällen för dig? Jag tycker alla tre taktalen var så ovanligt bra. Ärligt talat, taktal brukar vara så där. Ja. Men det känns som att alla tre ansträngs sig verkligen för att försöka förklara varför är musik viktigt. Varför det har varit viktigt för dem. Så att alla de tre tycker att man blev så rörd av på djupet. Och Angelique Kidjo började spontant. Ja, ja. Men ja, hon, alltså, det var ju ja, häftigt. Ja, ja, ja. Vad tyckte du var liksom starkast under din polarkväll? Alltså, under talen tänkte jag mycket på det här med att var och en var en appell för humanism och medmänsklighet. Vilket man behöver just nu. Men annars tänker jag att det stora intrycket är ju trivseln. Alltså, det, det är högtidligt, men de har, de har vi så noga med bordsplaceringar och säkert att man sitter bara med folk som man gillar och vill, och vill lära känna. Och, och maten är superb och det är aldrig slut i glasen. Att det, liksom, det är bara högtidligt och oerhört trevligt. Ja, men vad är, jag håller med dig. Det finns någonting i det här när liksom kungafamiljen finns representerad ja. och det är så mycket tjusiga människor. Ja. Men ändå så börjar folk kunga snabbtviser långt innan vi ens har gått ut i sändning och applåderar. Det är så mycket genuin kärlek, både från scenen och från publiken. Väldigt mycket så. Och, och jag, jag får en känsla av att det är precis, precis i stickans anda. För stickan gillar ju fester och stickan gillar liksom glam och det fick inte bli vara för högtillig. Så det är den där blandningen av att det både är liksom enorm pompa men så enormt roligt att vara här. Så, ja. så jag, jag, jag är typ två gånger ikväll blir så avundsjuk på mig själv att jag får vara med här. Det, 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 det är ju inte här riktigt. Ja, men verkligen just underbart. Stickan Anderssons anda är viktigt att den här, man har ju delat upp den, någon har gjort det mellan så kallat högt och låg. Han vill ju platta till det så att säga, att man har popmusik, slager i samma rum som klassisk musik. Att det finns liksom och, 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 inget fint och fult, det, det finns bara musik. Det finns bara musik och fantastisk musik berör verkligen. Men jag måste bara säga, alla pristagarna är naturligtvis helt magiska, men låtskatten som Chris Blackwell ändå liksom ligger till grund för, den är ju så enorm och så... Ja men, det är soundtracket av många av våra liksom liv ja, skulle man kunna säga. Vad, vad kan du säga om det? Ska man, ska man tolka musik? Han är ju en drömpristagare. Jag tror att tittar man hemma om man har skivor kvar, cd-skivor eller blinkskivor så står det Island Record på väldigt många av dem. Ja. De har han varit inblandad i. Ja, så du kan ju välja liksom Bob Marley, U2, Gracie Jones och så vidare. Så att det är sällan man har haft så mycket bra låtar att välja mellan. Och det har vi hört verkligen. Fast, för det måste jag få säga att jag håller helt med er. Men det är populärkultur och det är underbart. Arvo Pärt rör vid existensen. Han, han liksom pratar med Beethoven, han pratar med Bach. Så att, det, det, att storheten finns på båda platserna. Liksom. Och, och det, att, att det, det är det som gör att det blir så magiskt. Ja. Men sen också så kommer Angeli Kidjo in i ja. den här liksom kombinationen och levererar ett budskap med styrka och mod. Och det, är liksom, ja, men det känns 
fantastiskt att få ha en yeah. world music-ikon på yeah. det sättet. Yeah. Och, och som du säger, Arvo Pärts fick ju fly sitt land på grund av en regim. Det ah, fick ja. han eller Kid ju också ah. göra. Vilket är en klyscha men också sann att musik kan ta sig igenom gränser och bryta ner gränser. Liksom. Men, men att, Annelika, att, att, att hennes karisma, hennes, att hon är så jävla snygg. Jag vet. Att, 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 en liten sekund som är heterosexuell ikväll. Jag känner att, att om hon vill ha mig så tar jag henne. Hon, och hon, var ganska... hon har ju den här förmånen att skicka man in henne i FN ja. så har man en känsla att alla kommer komma överens. Ja, verkligen. Ja. verkligen Mark ja. blev ju heterosexuell ja. tack vare henne. Vi pratar vidare det. om det där en liten stund. Jag tänker att vi ska bjuda på några av kvällens höjdpunkter. Artist and songwriter Andrele Kidjo. Chris Blackwell. Presenting his father, the composer Arvo Pertz. You won't get no suppers in the down. Oh my god. <laughs> Amazing. Oh baby, baby, it's a wild world. I'll always remember you like a child. Men alltså man bara, va? Det var ju mäktigt. Jag tänkte fråga dig så här, hur kändes det att sjunga inför artisten själv? Men alltså, menar... panik. Men nu känns det skönare. And I, and I loved it. But his voice is very special. I'd love to work with him. Wow. Who knows? I'm gonna tell him. Who knows? His mind's gonna blow. Blaoué. Blaoué mien d'aquilo. And do you know what that is? No. The chocolate bottom is in your honor because it's your recipe. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. No you way. Way. <laughs> uh. So... just amazed it's it's it, it's the most incredible thing i've ever been to in my life it really is ladies and gentlemen talking heads recorded this next song in chris blackwell's studio in 1980 angelique kidjo recorded her version in 2018 this evening once in a lifetime is performed by Joshua Edehen. And you may find yourself living in a shotgun shack. And you may find yourself in another part of the world. And you may find yourself behind the wheel of a large automobile. Find yourself in a beautiful house with a beautiful wife, and you may ask yourself, well, 